For today's house call, we're joined by Dr. Ken Brayman, Division Chief of Transplant Surgery at UVA Health System. And robotics now playing a big part in surgery over there. And of course, transplants and don donating uh, parts of your body, a big thing this month. Absolutely, Steve, thank you for having us. April is National Donor Month, and today is Transplant Nurses Day. So big shout out to all the nurses at UVA who take care of transplant patients. Um, we're very fortunate to have recruited uh, a new director of the uh, UVA Transplant Center from Chicago, who's an expert in robotic surgery, Dr. Jose Oberholzer, and he will be um, working with us to develop the robotic transplant program. And how, how is something like that incorporated into what has generally been happening over there? Well, robotic uh, surgery, as you know, um, adds a level of sophistication to laparoscopic surgery and uh, finesse that um, really isn't achieved with other types of surgery. So um, incorporating that into our uh, transplant operations for donors and recipients will really um, put UVA on the map with regard to um, the most advanced techniques in transplantation. And is that kind of from a patient standpoint? Obviously, I would assume the biggest benefit is that extra precision. <laughs> Absolutely. A transplant is uh, basically a discipline of millimeters, and so adding robotic surgery is very, very, uh, very great for us. I remember being over there years ago and even seeing it must have been in the early stages of, some, of things like that coming into play at UVA. Right. Well, robotic surgery has been at UVA for some time. Um, we have a couple of robots now that <clears throat> are in the operating room and we hope to expand that up as these other indications for robotic surgery advance. And let, let's look at, into the future now and, and describe what you think or what we see happening with robotics and surgery as we move forward. Well, I think robotics uh, will be important for the donor surgery, uh, for recipient surgery. It will allow us to do transplants in people that otherwise might not qualify due to severe um, obesity or other types of technical issues. Uh, you know, UVA is the only comprehensive transplant program in the state of Virginia. So we want to be able to offer everything that there is possible to offer for our patients who come from many, many miles away to seek care at UVA. All right, doctor, appreciate your time tonight. Thank you.